Hey guys, it's pretty windy out here, so I'll make this quick. This is Veronica. Uh, Veronica comes in a few different colors. It's pink, it's purple. I'm gonna overlay some pictures in here so you can see what it looks like. But right now, I wanna show you the seeds or how to collect the seeds. So when it's green like this, it's not ready. Okay, you wanna wait until it's dark. Dark, brown, almost going towards a black. The seeds are on here. Now, if I just do something like this, Okay, then we can see I have all these lovely seeds. Now, option one, I take them inside, um, preferably in a paper bag. And until things are completely dry, uh, you want to use paper as much as possible because if there's any moisture left in there, it's going to rot if it's in a plastic bag. So even when collecting, try to get like the really big lunch bags, the ones that, you know, the lunch bags that you would roll up and put your lunch into. Do people still use them? <laughs> They're hard to find. You can put a bag over top and then come down to the bottom and cut it, and clip it off. And then, um, see, so now it's in a bag. Then when you turn it over into that bag, drop it into the bag and just leave it there. Take the bag inside and then use a clothespin on the bag and stick it on to, like clothespin it to a uh, string, for example, that you've put across uh, a relatively dark, dry place in your house, maybe in your pantry, uh, would be a perfect place. So just leave them in the bag for a few weeks and let them dry. And just keep them in a relatively dark, cool, uh, dark, cool, and moisture-free place. So. I'm going to come in here and clip a bunch of these. Now I have a whole bunch that I already clipped in the house from my brothers. I was at his house last night and he has a lot of Veronica's. He has Foxglove and Veronica's and Daylilies and Hollyhocks and all of these plants that I don't have, even though I have lots of those plants, his colors are different. So I was excited to go and harvest all the seeds that were available that day. Um, of course, my little nephew came out and said, are you taking everything? And I said, no, 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 I'm taking everything for today, but tomorrow you'll have this much plus more because that's what happens tons of seeds are coming out every single day. So it's not a big deal if you take as many as you can get because tomorrow all these green ones will be here and there will be more. So don't worry about that. Um, also, it's really important to take these seeds. If you do not take the seeds, there's a good chance the birds will come and eat them up. The plant will drop some of the seeds, some of the seeds will come back, some of the seeds will grow, but your likelihood of having the seeds grow uh, is much better if you've brought them inside, made sure that nobody ate them and then plant them and bring them back out. But I do like to take some of these guys and just sprinkle it right over where I know I want them. If I want more than this, I'm gonna wanna start them inside and seed them that way or, um, or come out after my last frost and throw some seeds out here. So these are Veronica's. I'm gonna go around the garden in the next few episodes and show you uh, a few different seeds and what they look like and how to harvest them. But pretty much when it comes to seeds, you wanna cut, put them in a paper bag, hang them up to a dry for a little bit. Some seeds are more complicated than others. Sometimes the seeds are hard to tell what they are or they're deep in inside the plant. This one is pretty easy because the seeds are right there. They are inside teeny tiny little shells, so the whole thing is not necessarily the seed, but it's in there. And yeah, there's a yucky bug on that one. Um, but it is there, the, the seeds are gonna be within that little bit. So definitely take your Veronica's and scatter them where you want them, but also collect and bring a whole bunch of them inside just in case for next year. I'm Scarlett, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Toodaloo!